Hi everyone, Jeffy here again from VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a speed run through of the IVS or Intelligent Video Surveillance functions of the VIP Vision network video recorders and IP video cameras. So this is all going to be done using a VIP Vision network video recorder. It can also be done a number of other ways, i.e. using the web interface or using of the camera, or using the web interface of the recorder or using Smart PSS, the remote view platform. If you do have any further questions about this video, I suggest you check the extended video uh, for IVS setup. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump across and show you what we've got set up here. So we have an eight megapixel camera set up pointed at a board. I'm going to draw some IVS rules around these areas here. It's just a white board just to make it a bit easier for you to see what's actually going on. And this is the recorder that we're connected to. So that's the image that you can see. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is set some IVS rules. So right click, select main menu, and it's an event. So an operation info setting event. So from here, we want to select smart plan, select the channel that you're using. In this case, it's channel three, select IVS to turn it on, click apply, select the IVS section. Next, select the channel that you're going to apply the IVS rules to. So again, channel three, select add. Now we're going to be setting two rules. I'm going to set both of them up at the same time so that you can see them, but they're two separate rules. So the first rule is going to be tripwire. Okay. I'm going to draw the tripwire line. So in this case, my tripwire line is just here. So left click, left click and right click to finish. And it's going to be in both directions. Some of the things that I can do to change, change within this rule, I can change the size of the target that I'm actually looking for. So this is the minimum size that I'm adjusting now, this blue box here. And this bigger blue box here is the maximum size of the target that we're going to detect for this IVS rule. The next section is we've got down here is which direction we want to detect from. I could go from A to B, side B to A, or I could detect both. In this case, I'm going to detect both. So I'm going to select apply and I can change the name up here. As you can see up here, we're doing a line crossing tripwire. Okay. Now I want to add one more rule. So I'm going to select add, select this case intrusion detection. Now, again, I'm going to draw the rule. In this case, my tri tripwire or intrusion detection, I should say, in this case, is going to be this object here. So I'm left clicking, click, left click, left click, left click, left click, right click to finish. Now we've got our rule name. Again, we've got our target sizes here. So I'm going to make my target smallest target about this big, my biggest target about this big. And I'm going to change from, I can select whether I want it to go on crossing. If I've got crossing selected, I can select the direction in which I would like it to cross entry, exit, or both. I'm going to leave that set because I'm going to set appears. Okay. So anything that appears in this area, we're going to trigger on. So I'm going to go, okay. Now the next thing you need to set is just what you're going to do on trigger. So in this case, I'm just going to select a buzzer. I could do something else like set a PTZ activation or something else, uh, maybe an alarm output. And the period up here is the time period that this runs for. Okay. So maybe I only want to do it during the day. So I'm going to go, okay. Again, do the same thing for the intrusion detection rule. Whoops. Sorry. Intrusion detection rule. Again, select the buzzer. Okay. And apply. Right click to close, right click once more to close. Now there are rules set up there. You can see the blue lines that we've set up. So this is our, our tripwire up the top here. Okay. And this is our intrusion detection at the bottom here. Now it may take a little while for the camera to cover the area to detect um, what's actually going on in the scene. Once you see green boxes, you know that you're good to go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross my, my tripwire line and you'll notice that the recorder beeped. Okay, which is what I've triggered it to do one more time. And just to show that you can go back the other way because I've got the rule set in both directions. Okay, and just to show our intrusion. So anywhere inside this area that we appear in, we're going to trigger on. Okay, and I can trigger on anywhere inside this area here. Coming from this edge, I could even come from way down here. Okay, so hopefully that shows you intrusion detection and video tripwire. Some things to keep in mind when you're, when you're running this sort of setup, make sure that your, any of your intrusion detection lines um, or your tripwire lines are well inside the image. The camera must see the object that it's trying to detect for a good period before it gets, gets to it. Now, um, I'd usually suggest at least a third of the image needs to be left clear. Okay, so you wanna be doing this just in the middle of the image. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any further questions about this or anything else, please leave a comment below. Um, 
If you need any more information about this, as I mentioned before, there is a more in-depth video. I suggest you go and watch that one. Anyway, thanks for watching.